Hey friends, uh, here is the frame of my um, solar camper. And I'm using these uh, kickstands and I'm um, not sure they're going to work, but they're very light. And actually they're also adjustable. I'm not sure if this, oops, I'm not sure if this thing is going to last, if that's, I'm pointing at this thing here, if that's going to be strong enough, but it is adjustable. I've got them, I had to uh, put them on wedges and block them in on both sides to keep them from uh, moving. And even with that reinforcement, I'm not sure they're going to make it. Um, this thing, um, I made that out of a tent pole, aluminum tent pole, and bent it, as you can see. Not sure that's going to make it. But um, I'm pretty happy with the wood frame. This is a Paul Elkin style frame. And uh, the wheels are held on with angle aluminum angle which oh, you can see is just uh, wood screwed in and uh, got one of those on each side and um, so got reinforcements here and there um, this uh, is a little heavier than I would like it to be. However, it gives me a little bit extra lift. And that little bit of extra lift allows me to get the wheels off the ground. Although, you know, when these stakes are poking in soft ground, probably the wheels will stay on the ground. But I think that's about a good height. So this is... Uh, a project on my list of crazy ideas. I don't know if it's going to work. I'm doing it as um, kind of as a uh, test or a prototype and I'm building it as light as I can. Before I put this on, I weighed it and it was 25 pounds and that uh, is probably three pounds maybe, two pounds. So um, I'm pretty sure this is, the frame at least is under 30 pounds as it stands. Um, I did reinforce the corners with fiberglass. Uh, you can see some fiberglass there. I kind of draped it over here. The corners are glued with fiberglass. Um, I tested it and actually broke it uh, because I didn't put all the screws in right, So, but that's not the fault of the structure. That was my fault. But um, these are epoxied down. These are not epoxied yet, but eventually they will be. And then these are epoxied, plus there's glass cloth um, wrapped around it, um, several layers. So that's it. Uh, we'll see where it goes from here. Um, I'm going to take it for another ride and um, see if it works okay. If it does, then I'm going to put the floor on. And I'm going to put two layers of Coroplast um, across the bottom. This is Coroplast. And uh, then I'm going to try to lay on it and see if it can handle a heavy weight. And uh, as a cot, essentially, a sleeping cot. Um, if it does, if it's okay, well, then I'll build the uh, camper. And uh, the camper is designed so that it should be able to hold uh, solar panels too. So that's where I'm at, thank you for watching.